All right, let's jump right into a question that sounds completely impossible, like something out of a cartoon. But the answer? Well, it unlocks one of the most powerful principles in all of engineering. So let's figure this out. How can a mouse lift an elephant? I mean, seriously, how is this possible? You've got this tiny creature weighing just a couple of ounces, and it's somehow supposed to lift something thousands and thousands of times heavier. It feels like it breaks the laws of physics, right? Well, it turns out the laws of physics are exactly what make it happen. So to crack this puzzle, we have to think beyond just brute strength. We need to find a way to multiply force. And the secret? It isn't in bigger muscles or some kind of magic trick. It's all about liquid. Yeah, the solution is what you could call a liquid lever. It's this incredible way to get a massive mechanical advantage, not with a solid beam like you'd expect, but with a liquid that's trapped and not moving. This is the world of hydraulics. Now, this whole idea isn't new at all. It's got some pretty deep roots that connect some ancient wisdom with a scientific revolution that happened back in the 17th century. Let's dig into where this all started. The ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes famously said this, and it perfectly captures the whole idea of mechanical advantage, right? A small push, but with a long enough lever, can move something enormous. Well, hydraulics takes that exact same principle and just applies it to fluids instead of a solid stick. And this is the core concept, officially written down in 1653 by the French scientist Blaise Pascal. He figured out that if you apply pressure to a fluid in a closed container, that pressure doesn't just stay put. Nope, it spreads out instantly, equally, in every single direction. And here's the absolute key. The pressure is the same everywhere inside that container. Okay, so if the pressure is the same everywhere, how in the world do we get from that to multiplying force? This is where the real aha moment happens, and it all boils down to a super simple relationship between pressure, force, and area. And here it is. That's the whole secret. Pressure is just the amount of force you apply divided by the area you're applying it to. This one little equation is the key to our entire puzzle. Because if pressure has to stay the same everywhere in the liquid, but we can play around with the force and the area, we can do some amazing things. This right here shows that liquid lever in action perfectly. So look at the left side, the input side. Our mouse gives a tiny push, a small force on a piston with a really small area. According to our formula, that creates a certain amount of pressure. Now thanks to Pascal's law, that exact same pressure zips through the fluid over to the output piston on the right. But here's the trick, that output piston has a much, much larger area. So that same pressure pushing across a huge surface creates a gigantic output force. And when I say gigantic, I mean it. In our little mouse and elephant scenario, the force can be multiplied by a factor of 10,000. A tiny little nudge becomes a massive lift. That is the incredible power of hydraulics. Let's put some actual numbers on this to see how it works. Okay, so a mouse, maybe 0.05 pounds, pushes on a piston that's just a couple of inches wide. On the other side, we've got a 500 pound baby elephant standing on a piston that's 20 feet wide. Now, because the output piston's diameter is 100 times larger, its area is 100 times squared, or 10,000 times larger. And that's it. That's how the force multiplies. That tiny push from the mouse gets amplified 10,000 times, and suddenly it's enough to perfectly balance the weight of the elephant. Mind-blowing, right? Now, this might sound like a fun little science puzzle, but the truth is, this principle is working all around you, every single day, in some of the most important tech we all rely on. Just think about it for a second. Every time you step on the brake pedal in your car, your foot is the mouse. The hydraulic fluid multiplies that force to clamp down on the wheels hard enough to stop a two-ton car. It's the same thing with the hydraulic jack you use to lift your car for a tire change, or those giant excavators digging up foundations, and even a simple medical syringe. They all run on Pascal's law. And this device right here is what makes it all possible, the hydraulic cylinder. It's the real-world version of our piston system. You pump pressurized fluid in, it pushes on the piston inside, and that rod extends with an incredible amount of force. It is, quite literally, the muscle that powers so much of our modern world. So who is the brain behind all this? Let's take a quick look at the life of Blaise Pascal, a guy whose mind worked on a whole other level, way beyond just fluid mechanics. Blaise Pascal was an absolute genius, a true polymath. He was a child prodigy in math, 
Can you imagine, before he was even 19 years old, he invented one of the world's first mechanical calculators, the Pascaline, mostly just to help his dad out with tedious tax calculations. His game-changing work on fluid dynamics came out in 1653, but tragically, he died at the super young age of 39. But in that short life, wow, did he make an impact. Pascal made huge contributions to probability theory, physics, and even philosophy. His legacy is so important that the standard unit we use for pressure, the Pascal, is named in his honor. That's how you know you've made it in the world of science. So the next time you see a massive excavator effortlessly digging up tons of earth, you'll know the secret isn't just a big engine. It's the beautiful, elegant, force-multiplying principle of Pascal's law. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? What other incredible, invisible principles are out there, shaping our world right in front of our eyes, just waiting for someone to notice?